Yo, what's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all for uh, tuning into the channel. Yeah, I'm listening and I'm watching Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. And he had Warren Sapp on there. Now, they're talking about Warren Sapp's days at the University of Miami. How he got recruited. He also talked about how he played basketball. Basketball in high school. He didn't play baseball. He was Warren Sapp was nice in basketball. He said he was a Charles Barkley type. And he also scored a thousand points and had a thousand rebounds. Look, Warren Warren Sapp was a hell of a athlete. Personally, I, I like listening to Warren Sapp, Warren Sapp. For one thing, he's animated. He's interesting. Even when he was on NFL Network. He was good at his job. He just had some issues. Rubbed people the wrong way. He had an incident with a female or females. So he's no longer on the NFL Network. Him, Marshall Falk. Shannon Sharp, he asked, he's asking some good questions. He asked Warren Sepp, how was Dwayne Johnson, better known as The Rock? Shannon was like, look, on a scale of one to 10, he was a six. He was a player that could get the job done, but a lot of times he wasn't gonna make the play. But he was solid. He wasn't gonna cost you a ball game, a loss. He's a solid player. Warren Sapp was like, yeah, we were, we were saying football doesn't work out. Are you gonna go, are you gonna wrestle? He was like, damn, yeah, damn right I'm gonna wrestle. You all know his father was Rocky Johnson. Rest in peace to Rocky Johnson. So, the interview with Warren Sapp was good stuff. Very good stuff. Like I said, Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. Podcast, whatever you want to call it. It's some good stuff, y'all. They also talked, they talked about, about Warren Sepp when he took his visit. He took his visit to Michigan State. He said he wanted to be. He wanted to see some snow, feel some snow. And then when he got there, he realized, Nah, it's too cold out here. And so he wasn't going to Michigan State. Nah, he wasn't going to Michigan State. He said Florida State was an option, but at the end of the day, he went to Miami. He said Dennis Eckerson came to his house, sat on his couch, and was drinking iced tea. Warren Sapp didn't believe that the coach of Miami would even come, come to his house. But he said Eckerson pulled up and he was sold on the University of Miami. Now Warren Sapp thought he'd be playing tight end. A lot of you already heard this story well, Warren Sapp said he went from 225 to 270. Then he went to 300. And they sold him on defense. Playing the defensive line. And like the rest is history, yeah. Now, is Warren history. Sapp, he was talking about his Mount Rushmore at the University of Miami. And there's too many guys, yeah. Too many guys. So his four guys are... Jim Otto. Now, he played like 15 years in the NFL. Oakland Raiders. He's a Hall of Famer, y'all. Played in over 200 football games. He's a great player. Then you had Jerome Brown. He died in a car crash. Another great player in the NFL. I'm not talking about good. I'm talking about great. He lost his life at a young, young age. Then we're talking about the playmaker, Michael Irvin. Another guy that was great in college and great in the NFL. He's in the Hall of Fame. And we know what he did with the Cowboys. And then rest in peace to uh, Sean Taylor. Great in college, great in the NFL. The U had so much talent over the years is, is ridiculous. He, like Warren Sapp didn't mention Ray Lewis, 
didn't bring up Ed Reed. He left them guys off, not because it wasn't great. It's just that they're not on his Mount Rushmore. Then they started talking about the 2001 championship team. Arguably the the greatest college football team ever. Six first round draft picks, 11 players drafted on that on that roster. It was like, there's no team that could stood up or beat us in 2001. Nobody had a chance against us. The greatest football team, college football team ever. Now that's debatable, but I saw that team. It was, it was good. Now, you could say 2002, 2003, USC, that was a football factory with Reggie Bush, Matt Leinert. But I'm taking the 2001 Hurricanes over that 2003 team. And Shannon asked him about how was the practices. He said, man, we used to get after each other. We used to go out of that practice. He said the games was kind of easy. We was hitting... Full pads in practice. Wasn't no thud. Wasn't no thuds. We was tackling. Straight up tackling. Then uh, Shannon asked him about fishing. Because you know Warren Sepp loves fishing. So he's like, yeah, I was able to uh, skip the Costa Rica for my birthday in December. Me and the old lady. And we had a real good time. Like, yeah, I caught some tuna. And what we what I catch, I cook up. I don't waste nothing. Then Warren Sapp started talking about his upbringing. He said he was raised by five women. Obviously, his father really wasn't in his life. He said five women, y'all. So I'm thinking, five women? Then he said his mother, his grandmother, his aunt. Some other fam, some other relatives in the family. He said it was hard on him. He also said he had some brothers that they didn't cut him no breaks. They said when they played sports, then Warren Sapp was the youngest of six, I believe. He said that his brothers never let him win. Never let him win. And I, I understand that because back in the day, nobody let nobody gave you nothing. You had to earn it. There was no uh, trophies for participating. You had to go earn it. So I understand what he's talking about when he says that. I definitely do. Yeah, so this Shannon Sharp, his podcast is great. Club Shay Shay. It's no joke. I really enjoy it. These guys should check it out. Look, I'm going to talk to these guys later. But before I go, like I said, Warren Sapp has some issues. You know... Uh, he said he's enjoying his retirement. He's doing what he doing what he want to do. He said he came for nothing, so he do what he want to do. Basically, say living his life. Now they ain't talk about they ain't talk about his uh, bankruptcy and a couple of cases he had. But yeah, the interview was real. The podcast the interview it was cool, y'all. Screw Sports Center. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Y'all need to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.